Okay, we're going to tune up an SB100 Heath kit. I'm going to turn this on. Got an HP23A power supply set to 300 volts. Got a dummy load here, the MFJ Deluxe VersaTuner 2. Set the bypass mode into dummy. Just turn this on and it's warming up. Here's the transmitter section. First 10 steps. Set it to the band you want. Turn it to the plate position. So I've got this set to 20 meters, 14 megahertz. Turn this to the plate position. You want to have it to LMO. Oscillator set to LMO, which means it's going to use the local internal oscillator with this. Then you want to set it to tune. Go here and turn the button over to tune. Now in mine here, you have to kind of fiddle with this, and that's probably just some of the old equipment. First, it didn't want to read zero, so I have to kind of fiddle with it. There, it reads 50, so there's probably a one of the little segments on the uh, switch is probably kind of hokey. Then you want to go through and turn the mic level control clockwise a little bit. Mine doesn't really change it that much. There you go. You start to get some up here. Here's the power meter. There's on 50. We're down about 5 watts. There's 100 mils. Looks like about 20 watts. I'm advancing this knob over here. That's about the max it'll go right now. That's about 80 watts. And then you go through and adjust the drive selector here to peak it. If I remember what I'm doing right here. It's about 90. If you go over here and look at this at the same time, And then you can go through and adjust the load on this a little bit to peak it. Go back again, adjust the drive level. You got about 250 mils there. That's going into the 100 watts is going into the dummy load. Got to be careful I don't burn the dummy load up. This particular one, the shaft is now in this the final position here. I've got to replace the phenolic on it. It's set manually to where 20 meters it is. But that's another project I got to do. I hadn't done this on this unit for a while. About 240 mils. Got about 90 watts up here. That's me tweaking this knob. Got about 200 and say 40 mils here. And there's the plate current. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now here to lower sideband. If you were on 20 meters, you'd want to use uh, upper sideband. That's this procedure I just went through here in the heat kit manual, initial tune-up. Then you return the mic level to its fully counterclockwise position. So you're going to go ahead and turn this back down. Then you can move it to the required position, lower sideband, upper sideband, or CW. Transceiver should be retuned. The frequencies change any great amount. That's the initial tune up. Here's for sideband. Make sure step one had been satisfied. Blah, blah, blah. 
Then you're going to go through and use the microphone, set the meter to ALC. Activate the transmitter, push to talk or vox. Here's push to talk or vox. By speaking the microphone, turn the mic level control to peak deflections registry about S6 on the meter. Do not allow the meter to deflect beyond the 20 dB point. So you want to go ahead and adjust the mic gain here. Do you read up here on the 6? You can notice on here there's an ALC setting on there. With the meter switch in the grid position, should be very little meter indication during voice operation. Here's the grid. This unit hasn't been used in a while, so I just want to show some just rough ways how this is tuned up. got the high voltage part off which isn't the greatest you get knocked on your butt because it's 800 volts or something on there so the cover needs to go back on I'll go here and put this to tune there's no power out right now because I haven't turned up there's a hundred watts You can feel you get some heat dissipated up here. That's it, the SB100, the old SB100. So when you're actually transmitting on sideband, you're going to get a, your voice is going to go like this on here, the power.